Hello, and welcome to a first of its kind, Outside Inside Outside Racing ASMR Garage. What you've just heard is the sound of a stock exhaust system on a 2007 Honda Fit. Ryan will now walk us through the process of replacing the stock muffler from the Honda Fit with something much more aggressive. First step, the air saw. The air saw is being used to clear an area of the rear bumper so that the rude. The new muffler has a much different shape than the original exhaust system and will protrude from the back of the car more than the original tailpipe. So Ryan must cut away the plastic so it does not catch the car on fire. Fire is the enemy. Fire bad. I guess that will about wrap up all of the cutting that Ryan needs to do on the bumper and with and so with that we one final piece and all of the There we go. Now it's all trimmed. Oh my god, he's going... Okay, surely now we've got everything... Oh, sweet Jesus. And... Is he done? Christ's sake. Okay, so with all of the structure and substru- Oh, he's got the goddamn saw again. I don't even know why. It doesn't make sense to try to talk. He's just gonna keep cutting forever. How am I supposed to make a relaxing video out of this? Okay, he's gone. That's a godsend. Now, I've got this crinkly bag of... Oh, he's back. Why is his muffler wrapped up like a baby? Anyway, over to the chop saw, which will clearly be far less loud. Yes, what a soothing sound of a whirring electric motor and moving bits. Now you can close your eyes and fall gently to sleep to the soothing sounds of the motor and the blade chopping through steel. Oh, it's quieting down. Wonderful and perfect. Well, well, what's this? Oh my, you are in for a treat. 
listen as the sound of the drill with the brush Ryan is using to clean the exhaust off to ready it for welding gently lulls you into a sense of calm. Let the tingles roll over your body, much as the bristles are rolling over the metal and making a clean welding surface. Imagine those steel bristles whirring and spinning at 3,000 RPM on the back of your neck. Aha! A pipe appears. Ryan must make everything straight. Oh, Jesus. He hit his fucking head. Okay. Ryan must make everything straight so that the exhaust doesn't look Looney Tunes. I assure you, that's how it sounds. But the look is pure... Also Looney Tunes. Now it's time for an ASMR history break. Did you know that the earliest evidence of welding dates back to 3000 BC, when ancient Egyptians used charcoal to pressure weld iron ore into sponge iron and then hammer the pieces together? However... <sighs> However, some say that the earliest forms of welding were developed around 4,000 B.C. Well, I mean, which is it? Is it 3,000 or 4,000? It's 2024. How do we not know these things yet? Oh, Ryan is introducing the muffler to the exhaust for the first time. They say, hello, I am muffler. And hello, I am pipe. Pleased to meet you. Ryan is assessing the angle of the muffler so that he may weld it properly. Ryan tack welds the pieces in place first so that they can be moved appropriately and then final welded later. That's got to be hot. I don't know how he's touching it with his hand. Still barehanding it, what an absolute animal. Ryan now brings the muffler back once again to check the fit and the angle of the pipe. He's currently burning the bejesus out of his hand, but he doesn't care. It's all about the sound. And I, too, am all about the sounds. What's this? Why, it's a crinkly plastic bag. Helping to calm your nerves while you watch Ryan assemble this exhaust. Oh, he hit his head again. <laughs> I mean, calm and quiet. Fading away slowly now. Going back to its home. Hmm. I think I'll take a drink of my favorite beverage. That's delicious. Here you can see Ryan positioning the hanger on the rubber mount and welding the tar out of it. What happened to tax, man? Jesus. Let it have it, why don't you? I'm sorry. I guess we're beyond the stage of tack welding now and we're just going for broke. Oh, I get it. I see what we what we did here. Oh, clever boy. So that's just a solid piece of rod that Ryan has welded very harshly to the exhaust and then broken the other side off from the weld. And now he has a very tightly attached hanger. 
It's almost like he's done this thousands of times. Look at it glowing red hot. Red hot like the fire in your soul after you are invigorated by this ASMR garage session. Take a deep breath in. It's almost as if you can smell the welding gases and sheer manly brawn. Now Ryan places the hanger on the passenger side and lines it up accordingly. He left from one side and came back in from the other side like some kind of fucking magician. And now for his next trick, he will melt metal. Whoops. Not yet. First, watch this vice grip dangle. See it swing like a... Oh, nope. Melt metal. Just absolutely roasting it. Here is to get the bar as hot as Satan's taint. That way it can be bent and broken from the other side. With the vice grip. In this case, Ryan is aligning both bars to make sure they form a nice equal support for the exhaust before he reheats the weld so the bar can be broken off. I mean, I think you got it, pal. Molten lava. Molten lava. Now that the finish welding has taken place, high heat exhaust paint can be used to cover the welds to make sure they will not rust in the future. They'll still rust. Believe you me, they're gonna rust. But it's fun to watch it smoke. Ryan keeps his distance as those exhaust hangers are probably still hot as balls. Now, the big reveal. Let's take off those swaddling clothes and see what kind of beautiful baby lives underneath. And it's, is that, is that a sport bike muffler? What, what, what have you done? Well, the tape is coming off and the final product is upon us. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, it's real carbon fiber, I'm sure. The best that Amazon has to offer. Let's have a listen, shall we, to this high quality and surely deep toned exhaust. So far, so good. It doesn't sound too, though. I spoke too soon. Well, it sounds just as ridiculous as it looks. This has been the very first installment of Outside Inside Outside Racing's ASMR Garage. Thanks for watching.